hello and welcome to the new video in my last video I explained the roles and rights management which include user group roles their mapping and user access management in this video I will explain the forms uh, which includes the overview of form, form elements, form menu, form layout and form design so let's start with the overview of form a form is a content page displaying fields and values for a single record from a database table form provide a structured layout for viewing and editing individual records and are a key component of platform user experience the specific information on the form depends on the type of record display user can view and edit records in forms forms have a one column layout and a two column layout or mix of both forms may contain sections so let's move to the uh, my developer instance for further understanding let's open the incident form for this set so this this is the incident table you can open a incident record so this is a form which includes uh, different fields and uh, you can say different sections and all these things and it contain a rec uh, single record information of a single record and uh, this form uh, contains a one column layout and also a two column layout so it is a mix of both like this area is two column layout and this is one column layout so it is this form is mix of both so basically uh, this is the form so if we move next uh, then the next is form elements a form may contain different types of uh, element like form header, form menu, uh, UI action, fields, section and related list. Let's explore these elements on my personal developer instance. So this is the form. So this is the you can say that form header. Uh, of, uh, which provides navigation tools and action related to the uh, record then this is the form menu which uh, gives dif different types of uh, option to uh, customize our form and different types of uh, functionalities available in this menu then UA actions if we talk about the UA actions then UA actions are the these buttons uh, which perform any action once we click on them like delete if we click on the delete uh, it delete this record from the database and if we click on the resolve it uh, change the state of this incident to the resolve fields these are the different type of fields like this is the reference field this is the uh, string field you can say and this is the drop down so these all are the fields so fields basically store specific data about the records fields allow user to input view and interact with the data on the form within the uh, platform user interface these fields represent specific attributes or properties of the record and provide structured way for user to work with data then sections these are the sections so sections are logical groupings of the field in the baseline case sections are rendered as the tabs at the bottom of the form uh, the use of sections prevent user for having uh, to scroll through long forms and this is the related links which provide the links of different uh, you can say tables and under this this is the related list related list displays record in other tables that have relationships to the current record 
so these are the uh, you can say the basic elements of the form form menu then form menu provide uh, different options like configure expert view favorite reload form so let's see on my developer instance so this is the menu which provides uh, save uh, add to visual taskboard copy incident and many other option if we click on the save it saves changes without leaving the form form view and uh, then you can see add to visual taskboard if you click on this then it add this incident to the uh, visual taskboard then copy incident this can copy the incident create incident task it creates the task incident and these all are the different options if we talk about the uh, configure then configure provides uh, admin functions such as configuring forms uh, related list and many other options then export export data uh, to PDF and XML we can export our data to different uh, uh, formats like PDF XML and simply we can uh, export this record into these formats then views uh, change fields to uh, view basically change fields to the predefined layout switching view submits the form which saves all chains admin can customize views so views different uh, these view these are the out of the box views we can uh, admins can also create the new views create favorite uh, adds the current record to your favorite list represent by star icon on the tab and copy URL it copies the link of this uh, you can say record and copy sys id it copies the sys id of this record what is sys id sys id is a unique identifier assigned to each record within the platform database it serve as a primary key then copy uh, then show xml uh, uh, displays record data in uh, zero format xml format then uh, you can say history it display the history of this record and if we click on the reload form then it simply refresh the form so this is the form menu the next is the form layout uh, basically for uh, configuration of form uh, we use uh, form layout as well as form design so first we talk about the form layout uh, a form layout configure the appearance of the form it displays the slash bucket and we can show hide fields on the form by using the form layout we can create new views uh, by using the form layout we can create new sections and also create new fields so let's explore this on my personal developer instance uh, to open the form layout you can simply click on the configure and then form layout form layout displays the slash bucket uh, this slash bucket so displays the available fields and selected fields these selected fields are the fields which are currently showing on the form uh, we can change the order of uh, uh, these fields by simply moving up and down uh, then you can also add different other fields which are available uh, and simply we can add these field by click on field and then click on add button now you can see this field is also added you can also change the order of this field by simply moving up so we can create a new view as well and we can configure the uh, form layer uh, form layout in different views as well we can create new sections uh, also we can create new fields and all these options are available in the form layout then if we move to the form design then form design is also similar to the uh, functional its functionality is similar similar to the form layout but it is uh, uh, you can say the 
graphical tool uh, it provides uh, a drag and drop interface we can uh, also access the uh, field properties and uh, it is uh, you can say that more user friendly as compared to form layout so let's uh, start with the uh, form design on my personal developer instance to open the form design we simply click on the configure then for uh, click on the form design then this interface opens in new window so this is the form design we can simply drag and drop the order uh, fields to change the order of the fields we can check the properties of the fields we can also add the available fields from here we can create the new fields as well we can create new sections and all the configuration uh, which we uh, uh, which we can do with the form layout also we can do here so these all uh, options are also available in the form design but it is more user friendly and easy to use as compared to form layout so this is all about the form and uh, before uh, I wrap up let's quickly review that what I have covered in this se se uh, session I explored the form overview form elements form menu form layout and form design that's all for this session and in my upcoming video I will cover the data structure of service now so that's all for, for now thank you